Hey everyone, welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 18, Phase Day 1 series. We are actually currently in my base that I started on day 1. We spent every single day, every single night in this base. We haven't uh, taken over a POI or anything. I wanted to do something different this time around, and we actually built something great out of it. We're on day 113. We just finished off the last horde night in here, and we are in my factory area, kind of derping around. Uh, so, I haven't really gone outside to repair stuff yet. I need to grab some steel and whatnot, so I'm gonna get this stuff put away um, and grab the steel that we've already got forged up in here. Okay, so I've got my inventory pretty much organized here for our repairs, so I'm just grabbing up our steel. There we go. I've got some electric fence posts, which I actually have to place in my bar. Uh, we got to replace a few of those, go and um, replace our, our, I'm sorry, not replace, fix our blade traps, get everything running, and then we can turn our defenses, <laughs> stupid campfire, I gotta move that damn thing, um, replace our defenses all the way around, holy crap, okay, let's get down there. So I was trying to say we could actually turn on our defenses. And that's how you sneak up on a screamer, by the way. Um, we can turn on our defenses again because the screamers won't, won't stop. We just turn the forges and everything back on. Oh, I forgot to repair these damn things. We first of all need a nail gun. Um, and I need some parts and iron. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'm going to fix the blade. Wait, I can't even fix the blade traps. Holy fail. Okay, I'm going to go grab everything else that I need. Oh, I forgot. We actually used up all of our iron upgrading. I forgot we didn't have any extra stuff going on. Uh, so I'm actually going to stop the steel in here and get some iron going on because we at least need a couple stacks of backup. Oh, wow, that was a little silly of me. Looks like these need to be topped off too. Yeah, we only have like a thousand in there. That's not very much at all. Um, I'm going to finish uh, putting this clay in. It's a little slower while you're feeding clay into it too, but... Um, once you get that clay in there and you can wear it down just using iron, you can make a ton of steel at once. Uh, a few episodes ago, actually, you guys can see a good example of that. We made a ton of steel in a very short amount of time. Whoops. Almost, almost set myself on fire, too. Just not having a good day today. Okay, so this is going to take a uh, moment here. The, uh, the damage actually isn't that bad. It was, uh, pretty well spread out. Um, other than the fact of me forgetting to replace the spikes around the corners, but that's okay. We got spikes this time. Um, I'll make sure they're replaced even before we turn our defenses back on, because that's what ended up being our weakness, uh, was the fact that they're attacking those open corners with no defenses. They're just over there hitting the walls, like, no big deal. And I'll have to come and, uh, wire these back up and replace the ones that are missing. We actually don't have, um, that many missing ones. A lot of damaged ones, but not that many missing. All right, so I got all the uh, the traps repaired here, but um, do I not have enough? Oh, there we go, perfect. I'm gonna get these repaired up too. I hate hitting the frames for these damn things. There we go. Okay, so they were attacking this corner here. Uh, how far did they get? Ooh, they actually almost got through this block right here, but it still wouldn't have mattered, actually, if they did, because they would have had to take these two blocks out. Uh, but that's a little too close for comfort, to be honest. Uh, if I had one of those demo zombies go off in this corner, that would have actually been a, uh, a pretty bad thing. Okay, well, that damage in this corner isn't so bad. Let's go check that other corner. <laughs> Before I do anything else... I'm going to go ahead and get these stupid friggin' spikes replaced on this side. Seriously, what a weakness to have. Um, I would love to be able to get the other spikes going. Maybe, or the other blades going. Maybe we'll concentrate on that this week. That would be a goal. <laughs> I hear a screamer over here just banging away. I think she might be down this way. Yep, oh, there she is. What are you doing, you fool? Oh, wow, that was uh, a lot of unnecessary ammo. There we go. We've got her taken care of. So this is a side here. And that block's pretty damaged. It doesn't appear. Yeah, it was just this block here. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, it's close, but it's not too bad. Okay, got those spikes replaced. Nice, nice. That should last us another horde night. Uh, now, next step is to replace all of these damn things. 
This might take a moment. Now, there's a spot over here they were hitting. Uh, I noticed this behavior, too, that they're hitting at the edges like this um, on the other sides. Uh, before I extended this plate system out here. This is too deep right here, this whole thing. Uh, it took a little while to install, but it was definitely worth it, just in case we get like a demo zombie that gets set off by the SMGs I'm going to install. There's still a lot of work to do on this base. Um, it just keeps kind of getting bigger and bigger as the uh, Horde Knights do, too. Uh, but there was one spot over here, and it looks like it was just maybe that one block. That's really weird. Oh well, hopefully we see the, that behavior change with all four sides beefed up like that. How'd she not see me? Was that a scream? Maybe I caught her mid-scream. <laughs> anyway. Cool. I'm gonna keep replacing these damn things. These here, these electrical fence, I'm a, I'm a big fan of these things now. They're actually not that much work to maintain. Like, sure, I go have to replace a few after Horde Knight. Uh, but really, for how much defensive purpose they have, uh, it's really worth it because they tie up the zombies. Like, they just, they don't have a chance to do anything the entire time. It's, uh, pretty friggin' awesome. Okay, and that, uh, concludes our repair from Horde Knight. See, that wasn't so bad. I mean, I spent a little more time than I really needed to uh, messing around, but we got it all repaired. Now we can go and turn on our defenses again, and we will be good to go. So this episode here, uh, we need to get some more work done. So, you know what? It's day 113. We have lots of time. I'm going to stop talking about it, and we're going to get it done. We're going to get some of these blades done. I'm going to have to do a little bit of surgery to the base to get in and out of it, but we're going to get this done. And I think I've made up my mind for uh, changes coming in Alpha 18.3. Um, I, I don't mind that they add one um, watt capability to, or one watt to every electric item. But the thing is, is those, those generators, they do so little and you can't, if you could chain them, cool. Right? But you can't chain them. So I think what I'm going to do to adjust that is actually um, up the energy that the generators can put out and that the engines do. So um, that'll kind of overcome that. So we'll keep the one wattage on everything. But I think I'll change the engine wattage output. I think that would be a good way of balancing it out. And uh, that change will probably make it over to Settler's Mod once we test it out on here. So for, of course, for our blade traps, we need blade traps. So I'm going to grab some of those. We need some relays, which I seem to have tons of. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to need my auger, of course. Uh, we got some concrete mix, some uh, steel to repair. Okay, we're actually looking pretty good. What I'm going to have to do, I replaced those spikes. I'm going to go have to go and knock those things out here. Um, oh, yeah, and I can't even have the defenses on. Damn, this is going to be tough. Oh, well, let's do it. Yo, oh, you know, I can have the blades on. Blades running on both sides. So I'm going to go get those uh, fueled up and turned back on. <laughs> well, there goes that screamer. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Okay, so I'm going to go and uh, turn these blades on too. There we go. I love that sound. Nice. So, um, I also got to place engines in here, too. We have a bunch of engines. Now, from overtime robbing cars. Woo, I got a big sneeze there. <laughs> uh, so, I got to get engines and stuff up in here. And then we'll, uh, we'll figure out how much it needs. So, the one powering this side is down this way. So, I think I'm going to go ahead. And we will start working on this side. So, I've got to make myself... i got to make a sacrifice here. So, these things are one, two, three blocks wide. Uh, so I got to go four blocks out and actually make a hole in here. Unfortunately, this is what I'm going to have to do. It's actually not bad getting through these plates or uh, getting through a steel block with a high level auger anymore. A little bit of patience, but what we'll do is we'll do this, make a ladder, si ladder system to get up and down so that we can do all of our wiring. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You guys have seen, if you watch my earlier episodes, oh. Steel plates break down to concrete plates. 
I thought steel broke down from steel just period. I did not know that. I just... I just got learned. There we go. So now we got a temporary ladder system in and out so we can bring the wiring with us. So first step is... Uh, and this is why I couldn't turn on the electric fence. None of the electric fence is on, but the uh, the blades are going. I gotta get rid of these damn things. I just replaced a bunch too. And also defend myself at the same time, because all of our forges are going. Might be actually a good idea to turn those things off for the time being. I'm not gonna do it though. Okay, and that is the last spike trap. So... Look at that. Check this out, guys. Uh, where did all the iron go? We made 3,265 iron out of that deal. Holy crap, I should do that all the time. So, what have we got to do now, actually, is place down our blade trap. So I'm going to start, of course, from this corner right here. Actually, that's, uh, that's perfect. We don't even need to put an extra one at the end. And work my way back, but not before I kill myself some creamer. Gotta be real careful with these, because these things like to bounce around if you're moving, so... Um, and if you place them up in the air, they fall and they get destroyed, which really, really sucks. Okay, so I placed 13 down there. That's actually not too bad. Uh, so we're going to start getting these wired up. This is actually uh, pretty basic. We already got the, um, the relays in here, so all i got to do is grab this relay... Take the ladder up here. It's uh, This is a little bit of a tedious part, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, so for major repairs, I got to do this too, unfortunately. But um, whatever. It's part of having a uh, big, awesome base and the commitment of a base day one. So I'm going to do this for um, each and every single one. And I actually got to make a hole too, so uh, that kind of sucks. There we go. We don't even have to go out of the hole. We can just look out of the hole like a little gopher. Actually, kind of going in and out of the hole like that really, really works. Oh, I'm able to clip it to that one over there, too. So, um, it looked like I was able to do one, two, three, four, five, six within reach of this one right here. So, that's actually kind of cool. Um, now, I got to go make another hole at the other end so we can hook up the rest. Uh, I should make it, I think, probably right around here, I think would work. Okay, so I think we got this side just like that. Looks like all of them are hooked up. Now all we gotta do is grab some motors here, fill her up, turn her on, and uh, just make sure all the blades are going. So what I do is I like to uh, pop my head out of here. If I lose it, then we are good to go. Oh look, this time we can actually take a little bit of shortcut. We don't have to take my gyrocopter up. All I have to do is run around my tunnels here, and we're good. This is actually not taking nearly as long as I had predicted it would. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. I should have actually done this a long time ago, I think, at this stage now. Uh, but it's going to be cool now to see the next Horde Knight with all four sides of Blade Traps. See, I, I, out of habit, I still go towards that corner to get out of here. It's going to take a while to get out of that. So I'm going to gra grab the rest of the Blade Traps we have here. Where is our electrical? Right over here. Getting dizzy. And our engines. All right, so let's get these motors going on in here. We're going to get all six and then see how much power it actually ends up taking up. Here we go. Light switch on. Bang. Oh, I love the sound of those things turning on here. So we're actually using up 260. And how much does one motor give again? I completely forget. Let's turn that back on see how that works out. Oh, we need like one extra motor. Uh, that's going to be okay though. Once I rebalance the game for the motors, we'll come back and uh, get this figured out. So there we go. Now this next uh, row here should take, I think, two traps less because we have them uh, poking out on both ends. So we might be able to save the motor on that one. And uh, we only think we need 12 blade traps and we have 14. So we have a couple as backup for now. Okay, well, since uh, this side's up and running, I'm going to try to... I don't think I'm going to get hit from here. I've never tried this close before. I think you have to be in the 3x3, three three, but yeah, there we go. We're okay. So we got one, two, one, two, three. They're all going, I think. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. Three sides, blade traps. Wow, okay. Well, I'm kind of energized by this, to be honest. 
as I'm walking through electrical fence. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do this side. I'm going to get these chopped out. This is sick. Wow, those blade traps are killing a lot of screamers. So I've gone, tore out those spikes, uh, drilled a hole over there, and I'm finishing up the last... Another one? Wow, did the uh, did we turn did we turn up the the, the screamer volume or what in here? <laughs> Holy crap, uh, that's insane. Tonight should be pretty interesting. Um, I'm not gonna stop. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just get this done. I mean, it doesn't take too long, so why stop for the nighttime? These screamers might pose to be a problem. Uh, now, since I've got those other blade traps going, I think I'm gonna just replace slowly replace these blocks here. Uh, with a full concrete block just because uh, with the plates it has to be a concrete block a wet concrete block which needs to be upgraded twice and then it can be upgraded to steel where these blocks it just needs to be done once bam dry upgraded to steel right um, it's a little quicker for repairs that way so uh, we're gonna get rid of these because we don't really need the space anyway um, it's it's easy enough to walk underneath there so I gotta get rid of these ladders and try not to kill myself I don't want the screamers and stuff walking down there for Horde Night. And I also got to, wow, well, once we've got this all done, I need to remember to go back down there and remove the ladders and the um, the blocks and stuff. I just don't want the zombies to see that um, as a route or a way to travel. Okay, so let's drop down here. I'm going to get our ladder system involved and we, oh yeah, we already have relays on this side too. Sick, that makes our life just that much easier. Holy crap, what the hell just happened there? Are they down here with me? Ooh, that would be terrifying. That was a bunch of zombies at once, so... Uh, let's go back up top and see what's going on here. Maybe they won't go down the hole if I'm up there. Yeah, there's definitely a wandering horde going on out here. Uh, but from which direction they're coming from... Is beyond me. It sounds like this side, I think, they were. I don't see any bodies though, they despawn so damn fast now. Well, there's a screamer there I just seen dead. Uh, she just, just disappeared, but that's about it actually. What in the world was going on? Ah, uh, whatever, let's go, let's go get this finished. So first things first, we gotta lay our blade traps down. I hope I'm not walking into a trap, speaking of. Okay, we're gonna start them back here. Hopefully, I don't get spooked and place one and break one because we don't have a crazy lot of these. And these things are actually rather expensive. We've only ever had to replace one uh, when a demo zombie went off. Actually, the only demo zombie so far to go off. So, uh, we've been pretty lucky because I hate making these things, they really do suck. Ah, uh, damn. I think I placed it one block. Oh no, I placed it in the right space. I almost backed up into that though, not even thinking, like a big old dummy. Wow, that was really, really close. Um, is that actually one space too far? Oh, we're good. And we can fit, what, one more in here? Holy crap. Bang. See? See what I mean? Like, it's hitting this little small wire and it's like, oh, you want to play this sideways? It's impossible, but you want to do that? Okay. Um, anyway. Do we have any um, spike traps left? We do. There's this one spot here that's still vulnerable because um, I bad design. Uh, so we're going to place some spike traps there and hopefully they just kind of really go around that area. There we go. Just like that. We'll ignore that that even exists, okay? So, time to get these wired up. Okay, so I got all of these hooked up. I'm hearing uh, still screamers getting killed by the uh, by the blades. It seems we're actually rather fortunate being down here on this side. They don't seem to be coming in this direction. So I think we'll be okay with getting away with one, two, three, four, five engines in this, in this one. So let's turn it on. Flip that switch. Nice, 240 with a max output of 250. That sounds about right. Let's go up top and uh, make sure I've hooked everyone up properly and not kill myself. So we got one, two, three. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We got blades all the way around my base. That is satisfying. Nice. And it's not even, uh, well, it is the next day, but still, that was a lot quicker than I thought it would be. 
We should have done this a long time ago, but that's satisfying. That's a lot of blade traps. Okay, so I'm gonna get these kicked back out, get the block replaced, and um, my inventory organized. This is so loud. One thing I forgot to do, I ran all the way back inside, and the one thing I forgot to do is turn on my damn uh, electric fence here, too. There we are. Let's get those guys going on. Oops, did I just... I did. I had the generator turned off. <laughs> My bad. Okay, I'm gonna get these going. It's very loud down here. Whoa, look at that. As soon as I turned this fence on, a zombie got caught in it. I'm betting that's a screamer. That's gotta be a screamer. Oh, and look, that block's dry already, and bam, steel. Steel. See? That's why it's so much better than those, um, placed concrete blocks. Those things suck. Oh, no! That is garbage. What? So, I was looking up and accidentally pressed my right mouse button to upgrade. And it changed the steel beam <laughs> into a concrete block. Okay, mental notes. Go in and fix the upgrade system for this because that is garbage. Wow. If anything, you should be able to upgrade it to a steel block. That is so weird. I'm pretty sure, though, we do have some blocks kicking around. Some extra ones kicking around here. If I can find my damn blocks. <laughs> here they are, right in front of me. Okay, so we're going to take the I-beam here. Copy. Oh, nope, not that rotation. Where's the missing hole? There we go. I'm going to copy the rotation. Fix it up. That is so weird. Why would it upgrade to a concrete block? That is not right. <laughs> so what we're going to do next here is we're going to go uh, visit the trader. We got a lot of stuff to actually sell the trader because I got everything cleared up and cleaned up, I might say. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and actually I'm going to dump this off to the side. I still have, this is like, kind of like my temporary chest so I can take my inventory and be like, bam, it's full. Um, I'm also going to fill this up. Now, I got to get rid of this stupid white river supplies. I can't move it or do anything with it. And it's stuck in my inventory, so we need to go hand that in. And I want to see if the trader has any solar stuff. It'd be really nice to check that out. So I'm going to go jam some of this in my gyrocopter. And then jam the rest, and we'll head off. We should be there by morning anyway. Off we go. Wow, time flies so fast in this game. Um, it is insane. I'm thinking of actually doing a playthrough with like longer days. Um, I don't know, kind of mixing it up, like, I, I, I like the idea of a tougher, um, playthrough, but I'm not a big fan, personally, of bullet sponges. I don't think zombies should be tough to beat. Oh, look, there's a, uh, an airdrop right there. Ooh, let's go get that. So I'm not, I'm not really a personal fan of, um, making things hard, like, that way, like, putting zombie health on, um, like, ultra hardcore. I mean, if that's your own thing, that's cool, but it's just not my thing. Uh, so it looks like <laughs> my inventory is full. Damn it. Okay, this is going to fall into a bag. Let's go ahead and dump some of this stuff in my gyrocopter so we can actually pick it up. That's funny. We got another damn machete, though, of the deal. Sell that to the trader. Those sell, uh, those sell decently well. Oh, damn it. Trader's not open yet. I think it's 6 a.m. the trader opens, so we got 30 minutes to kill. Uh, now, one of the dumb things I did do, one of the dumb things I did do, anyhow, any, hey, anywho, was I didn't bring any gasoline with us. So I'm going to leave some stuff here behind in our gyrocopter and go by foot and look for some uh, cars. We'll scrap them down. That'll kill our time. Hey, I wonder if this POI is respawned. Did this thing even have anything in it? I forget. Oh yeah, it did. It had a Shamway box um, hidden in the middle of the hay barrel, uh, the barrels, or the barrels, the bales, 
There we go. Holy words today. Uh, this is actually a really cool little POI. I feel it's kind of more of a like kind of to show off like look what we can do because these these uh these things are cool too actually you can um, break these down these will give you bones got four bones off that thing uh now this here i've never broken down one of these wagons let's do it let's see what those things are made of whoa give me mechanical parts <laughs> hmm maybe i should have used my wrench on it well that was unexpected Oh, there's a trailer over there. Every trailer has some sort of car sitting on the property with no wheels. Oh, I called it right here. Look at this. This should be enough gas to get us back quickly. Um, went on a huge journey, though. Holy crap. Oh, look, the car's relootable. Must have been a while since I've been here. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to do my thing and scrap this down. Oh, look, an engine! <laughs> That's funny. I'm not even looking for an engine, I'm looking for gasoline. Uh, but I got an engine out of the deal. Oh, we'll take that. We're getting real low on those. Okay, well, let's head back. Well, he's definitely open now. Am um, I going to switch some of this inventory out for sellables? We'll get rid of that. That's just a couple of them. Here we go. Awesome, let's get this uh, rearranged here. Hopefully I don't end up selling stuff that I need. Here we go. And then we'll come back and uh, gather the... This way too, I'll leave the coin in here. That way we'll know how much I actually made from this run. Because uh, I want to tally that up. This is quite a bit of stuff we ended up bringing. Okay, so I filled up my inventory here completely with all of the stuff I need to sell to the trader. So I think right before we talk to the trader here... We'll toss our nuggets on the counter. <laughs> Showing them who's a boss. Here's my nuggets. What's up? Uh, and... Which one to sell for more? The iron gloves. Well, we'll take those and sell them right back to you, Trader Joel. Thank you very much. I guess we had the extra space. Oh, look at this. We got another uh, reward up here. We got 85 or 135. I guess we'll go for 135. Um, I don't know where that went. Hey, where? Oh, maybe it ended up on the floor? I hope so. So we're going to accept another job here, of course. We want west. Uh, we got northwest or west. We're going to go with west. No matter what, oh, the waterworks. <laughs> we keep getting the damn waterworks. Of course. Uh, okay, what's in my inventory here? Did we lose some stuff? I don't even know what happened there. I have three of these books. Okay. Well, anywho, uh, let's go ahead and sell off all this stuff and see how much we get. So we got 3,000 just from the quest alone. So let's go ahead and sell this stuff off. So I was able to sell um, off everything but a few uh, spears. Uh, they didn't want the extra machete and uh, some hunting rifles. That's okay, though, because uh, that's only actually a few items left. So that gave us... Uh, 50,000 coins. <laughs> That's a nice little run here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we'll see what he has up in here. He has another solar bank kicking around. Whoa, and two level six solar cells. Okay, I need to jump on this while we're here. Like, buy one, and then we'll buy the other because um, these are, like, top of the line. So uh, we got to buy them up. I'm pretty sure my trader stuff up is pretty is up pretty high. So I feel confident buying these. Okay, I'm going to run back to my um, gyrocopter here and grab the rest of our cash. They're expensive, but I may as well pick them up while we see them. Okay, so I'm going to look here at our skill points. We have three available. Do we have better barter all the way up? Yes, we do. We have it completely up. All right. Let's go ahead then and buy that other solar panel. Two two at one time, or solar cells, sorry. Wow, and that leaves us with only 10,000 Duke's Casino tokens left. And um, actually, I should be able to sell these to the other trader if we go take a look. But oh my god, we just spent like 80,000 coin. Um, worth it though, because I really need, I would really like to use these. I think um, for our solar energy, we're going to, I'm going to go on, um, um, 
it's supposed to be still laggy. So we're going to set it up where my base is. If I do find it's creating a large amount of lag, we'll actually move our solar supply a little while away and see if that helps at all. Um, but anyway, I'm pretty pumped about that. I wasn't expecting to find two level six solar cells at the same time. That's pretty damn awesome. What? No way. There's another one in here? Why were they not beside each other? Three? Three level six solar cells? In one shot? Damn! Okay, we're gonna have to earn some coin now. Wow. Maybe we should spend uh, a week here just kind of looting. Now that we got our base done with the blades all the way around, maybe we should uh, be spending some time looting, making some money. I'm pretty pumped about those solar cells, though. Uh, we're going to head back home now. Unfortunately, I have ran out of time for recording this episode. Uh, completely jacked about these solar cells. Uh, I'll see you guys, of course, in the next episode. If you did like the video, of course, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, of course, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out, stay classy, back up them game saves. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck. God and damn I go it.